Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. It's literally beautiful. We are faced with the sunrise and then we are in the middle of the garden which is full of flowering plants. Whenever I see a flower, it gives me some joy that cannot be explained because it speaks about life it speaks about the nature that god has given us and today's video i'm going to make an update about our catfish and also, I would like to let you see the improvements that we have done here in this little garden. We actually made an effort in order for us to be able to make a good venue for our celebration. And that's going to be exciting. And for the meantime, just allow me to let you see the improvements that we have done here. Just this morning, we were actually busy transferring all these plants. And I'm so happy that we already have also painted the walls, the perimeter of this property. And as you can see here, we had successfully painted the circular tank. The color now is dark brown and these four tanks are already good to see. And at the back portion, we painted the wall with this uh, you know green color and it's so nice to see i hope so you like it and we also made some effort to beautify this with this very healthy plants i don't know what's the name of this plant but i believe this is good for this location because this needs some warmer environment compared to the other plants and our circular tanks are doing well and doing good for us in fact i decided to make a cover or to cover this with net because the temperature here is really very warm that it reaches around 40 to 43 degrees celsius it will kill our fish if we don't cover our tanks and by the way i would like to make some suggestions to those of you who are planning to make 
tanks for your fish well consider about the circular tank with a funnel type flooring because this is good and this is very effective i can sense that the fish are growing big in fact i can show you here our goldfish and i like to let you see that the goldfish that we have put in here are growing fast very fast and this is attributed with the kind of water condition that we have maintained here because of the funnel type flooring and i can say with confidence that this is going to become successful because since the time that we have placed in here this goldfish they were just too tiny too small but now they are really visible and i have in here some 700 heads of calico oranda and they are growing so quickly that i am amazed with this kind of growth well as you know i've been in this kind of activity or business for the past 20 years and this is my first time to try this uh, circular tank with a funnel type flooring and it really works good i can tell you it really works good well this garden is becoming lovable because if you are here you will see the sounds of the water the droppings of the water from the waterfalls i mean it mimics the sound of a complete droppings of water from the waterfalls and also the chirpings of the birds we can hear the chirpings of the parakeets this african lovebirds and now we have another batch of birds this zebra finches it gives us a beautiful sound that we can think about nature and as we speak today we are glad that we are able to hatch another batch of catfish well in our last video we made an effort about this you know catfish breeding we segregated all the most pregnant and we took it and we injected this with hormone and we put this in the breeding tank and lo and behold we are able to produce massively thousands of this catfish of rye so these are the efforts that we have done for this week and we are looking forward to be able to make a massive farming involving different types of animals and that would be a very exciting thing especially if we're gonna incorporate the planting of the vegetables through the aquaponics or hydroponic system so i'm very hopeful that for this year 2023 we're gonna be able to bounce back we're gonna be able to recover from the losses that we had experienced last year in fact the flood that i'm referring to had really devastated our plants and this is now the beginning of the new chapter of this dexter's world farm and we will be bouncing back and of course i need your support i need your help we're just you know looking at our videos and sharing it to your friends and even to your relatives i would like to flex my breeder catfish for a job well done for being able to lay their eggs spawn their eggs and able to hatch these eggs and now we are enjoying the fruits of our labor we have so many fry of this catfish and to those of you who were not able to follow our breeding system i would like to mention that we mixed up with the natural and the artificial natural because we don't kill the male catfish just to fertilize the eggs and semi-artificial because we are using hormones the big catfish is actually 0.4 ml the female and i will inject just 0.2 or 0.3 depending upon the size you will put them in a separate container and then after eight hours that's gonna be the time that you will put them together and allow them to naturally spawn their eggs and this breeding method had been so successful in fact we were able to harvest plenty of this catfish even before in the old farm we made a good harvest at the mud pan we made a good harvest at the concrete tanks and right here we were able to sell many of this you know catfish babies to our customers
I'm really very thankful about the suggestions that you have made about the kind of breeding that we're gonna adopt in breeding our zebra finches and one of you said that it can be bred in colony so long as it will be provided with a big cage that they can you know act naturally and look for their pairs well that's a very good suggestion and i'm really very inclined to it and another interesting suggestion as well is for this finches to be placed in individual cages each pair so that we can control the quality of our produce and that's a very excellent suggestion and i'm set to make a cage for our finches in the coming days it's just that i'm really very busy and we would like to make uh, you know detailed information about this how we're gonna make or where are we gonna place our um, finches because this place that they are in right now is just uh, temporary it's a holding area but we have to find a place for them in such a way that they can you know be peaceful and settle in one uh, permanent place so that's all that we can share i hope that you will continue to like and share our videos and if it's your first time to stumble upon this channel i would like to ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading informative educational and very inspiring videos only here at dexter's world see you in my next video